with somebody else. Turning. This was such a good jam, y'all. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I really thought I was, I was ready. <laughs> And then I forgot about Bo. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Love to see Kesha win. 100% all the time. How are y'all doing? We got M in, in the house. We got Danae. We got Heather. We've got Laura. We've got Feffy. I have so many shout outs to give. And I'm not fancy like M, so they don't automatically populate. Hint, hint. <laughs> all right first i just need a smidgen of lotion on my hands so that we can get going thank you i've been uh these are cleona shadows um i've been on a little kick where like i told you it might be a little laggy it might be a smidgen laggy it's been stormy here in the texas um and i need to explain to people that our internet doesn't work the same <laughs> Like cables are underground. <laughs> House of Eva. <laughs> Everything else is above ground. It's trash. It's trash. Storms come through here, ruin our internet. So yes, singles for life. Now. Na 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 You know what's funny about this song? It is like four minutes long and two minutes of it is na na na's. <laughs> let's go <laughs> all right a lot of see here a lot of see it looks like we are ready we are ready for the chicken motherfucking police um <laughs> i turn off the music for this one because the game music is such a vibe fam yeah and i'm going back to like singles and like um one colorful palette now for those of you who don't remember what happened guess what don't worry fam um when i have the time and the energy i do actually upload these to audrey rain's games he sure didn't get any younger <laughs> rude oh pretty you think he's still mad at us frankly marty i don't give a damn I love it. Oh my God, every time I turn around, the dialogue in this game is giving me life. Just like, I can hardly breathe. Okay, hold on. Let me go into my little notebooky pad. Let me see a raccoon. Ah, oh, there we are. Zip H. Murphy is a raccoon. A Procyon Iotor. He is a male. His special feature is that he's an old enemy who became good friends over the years. All right. The music is so good. Hello, boys. Now get the hell out of here while I'm asking nicely. Oh, that's exactly how I thought a raccoon would sound. Hey, is that how you greet two old friends? Hey, I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. Look at his nails! I'm fucking, I'm, listen, I'm gonna fall apart. No, you don't, because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. He's a married raccoon. If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. Ah, it's going well so far. We're just here for a coffee, Zip, okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's quite no. Thank you, Feppy. Shit. All right. Kiara Swedish Destiny, welcome. We haven't been anywhere yet, but we're going somewhere. <laughs> Excuse me. So sorry, I belched. There's one down. Everybody's <laughs> going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Ibn Wessler? Holy hell! Wessler? 
Hi, Bella. Welcome in, love bug. If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. Grateful? Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, huh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. Today. <laughs> want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years, anyway. Hmm. And. But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. And Not Mongrel sense, Mick. It's kind of weird. Bottomed out. Brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Feffy, no yes. No to be like this. Weird, huh? That's why I like CSI New York so much, because everybody has a New York face. I don't know how to explain, but it's like the face that they've decided that New Yorkers have. This kind of like... Hold on, let me hold on. It looks like this. So what do you think? What? Who am I to you? You know, like that way. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. Well, there is a woman. Mmm. Is that it, that Impala? I knew it. But not like you think. Is this gonna cost much? <laughs> the New York. I'm sorry. Only a favor, like the good old days. Okay, I'm in. All right, so I have. More codex entries. We gotta look at Ivan. Marty McChicken? I'm I'm undone by Marty McChicken, a hundred percent. Our new entry for him is he's been acting quite strangely, as if he was trying to withdraw from his own shady businesses to live a simple life with simple pleasures that wouldn't be a problem in itself, but this just isn't like him. Alright. Oh, we got another one. Another homie. What was his name? Oh, the raccoon said. Zip is getting old. He still has his connections. It's worth questioning him about everything, but time has had its way with him too. <laughs> no problem. I'm working on them. I'm working on them. <laughs> I took so long to get started uh, because as I always do, I have a moment. <laughs> Where I'm like ready to, well, not always, but I'll be like, I've got everything to go except for having let Bo use the restroom. All right. Ah, oh, mongrel Mick. Mick. <laughs> oh, thank you, him. <laughs> Ooh, swimsuits. I picked, I've been pick, trying to pick some because I might be by it. <laughs> I said that so awkwardly, like, I might be by the Mick is one of the most infamous henchmen of Ibn, Ibn Wessler. Ibn Wessler. I, I can't, he just said his name, I already forgot. Known by many rather scary nicknames thanks to his cruel nature. Sonny and Marty have crossed paths with Mick before and it took a lot of effort to get out of those encounters with feathers intact. Oh my God, please. Oh my god. All right. Have you ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred times. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry, guys. But then, it had a different name and a different owner. Business yeah. affairs, right? Yeah, that was the dark era, Sonny. I don't want to talk about it. Roger that. So, about that woman. Is she really that dangerous? <laughs> what woman is it, then? Hey, now. First of all, you got a nice full set on. <laughs> I mean, really dangerous. And I'm not mad about it. She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. 
She calls him her little furball. How dangerous do you think she is? Oh, Kiara, that sounds terrible for me. I don't know if it's terrible for you, but it's it sounds literally like the worst thing that could happen to me. You didn't get any younger, pal. Emmy, what's what are you up? Telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since forever. To be honest, I've never had a good night's sleep in my life. Is it because you're a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you will when the big sleep comes. All right, Bethy. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? I think you can exclamation point lurk, actually. Yay! I, I may have fixed it out now. Of course. You got a better idea? A couple, yeah. But somehow this suits you. I like that he has tattoos. You know what? Your mother's a goat. Ooh, he called my mama a goat? Now, first of all... I've got to say, you've revamped the joint pretty well. Yeah, after you trashed it, I had to. We do not have a good reputation as uh, Cox with the walk. Look, Cox of the I'm walk. A, I'm sorry, Zip. That ocelot and his gorilla. Ooh, okay, I'm in for the free boots. Not gorilla. Whatever. Sonny, <clears throat> watch your beak. So you owe me one until about the end of time. But I'd settle for you washing up here for a few years after retirement. Sonny. Um. Mind your tongue, for a ball. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't do my own dishes, bitch. So, Ibn's gone in. Love will Eben. kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood today. Truly. Is that elephant skin that the words are on? I don't know. You're one to talk, by like the Like in way. the text box? Like, I feel like it's like an elephant. Huh? Why? All right, we've asked him all these questions. That Natasha's a mysterious woman. A real cursed jewel, if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. Makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly, bam! She got the whole club. Just like that. But we know exactly how it was. How was it? I can imagine. Yeah. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Hmm. And how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses. I'm never going to get over the fact that it's a rat with a cat. Mob. <gasps> Mongrel Mick. Doesn't sound familiar. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn. That little monkey came this far? Oh my god. Uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Which has something to do with this Natasha, right? No, not That's another big guess. palette. Thanks for this straight dope, Zip. We owe you one. One? You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, First remember? First of all, calm down. What are you doing here? Okay, okay. Whatever <laughs> you, you need, work face. Just call <laughs> I cluck in So we got more information on Natasha. She was the singing sensation of the millions and later became the owner under I Ibn's patron patronage. Not much is known of her past before this, though. Okay. So she's mysterious, like all cats. Um, <laughs> like she's a mysterious kitty cat. <laughs> Wild time. Zip was delivering information to Ibn up to a couple of years ago. He was already working as a police informant then, so he may have been reporting to both sides. This sneaky little bastard. He's a raccoon. What were we expecting from him? <laughs> like, let's be real. That's my joint. The 
Zar Club. Alright, off we go to the Zar Club. <sighs> Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main street toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Look Ancient at their facial expressions. Were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Oh my god, I feel like... Uh, cops were never welcomed at places like this. I hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. <laughs> Thank you, today. Everything. That image of the two chickens in profile was everything. Period. Like, it just ah, gave me life. So They're just sitting there like... this is the famous Zara Club. <laughs> chickens. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like fowl here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Oh, Boss Bird. Very funny, Marty. I need to get me a lover so I can call him Boss Bird. So what are we gonna do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club, and Marty, Please. Don't want to this up. <laughs> what is up, a gamer sale? <laughs> How are you? Excuse me. On behalf of the well respected and noble primate community of Clawville. Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, Boss Bird. All right. All right, so we got Lewis, which is our cute little rabbit, um, like chauffeur kind of guy. All right. Ah, uh, you know, seeing this, I can't wait for the show. You dirty old bird. The girls. My feels, face feels like it's melting off because of TMJ issues, but I'm pushing through. Glad I could make it. Ah. Uh. I'm beginning to wonder if I have Graves' disease. Just said that out loud. New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. Have I asked how Laura's doing? I need to go see the doctor at some point and, like, do that. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm, <laughs> I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering. <laughs> Our flesh picture. prisons were a mistake. Listen, that's going to be, that's going to, I'm going to save that because that's going to be the name of the next stream. Our flesh prisons were a mistake. Please hold. Um, <laughs> I'm like, yes. There we go. That's going to be the name of the next stream. Our, our flesh prisons were a mistake. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting taste you've got. I am so Bandage, into these, like, scales these emotes. Armor, like, they're giving a me lady's life. A lady, my friend. Thank the wild gods for self-sacrificing gentlemen like you. No, no, thank you. All right. Okay, we have. What in the hell is that a is that a ram? Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be a rough time. There's a stork lady, Lewis, and a fancy car, and a sign. Let's look at the One sign. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world. I'm telling you. You read that in some kind of science. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of the giant palette. Unless no, it's just like it's all just matte shades that I can use in conjunction with my singles because I swear I'm getting to the point where I'm going to start paring down oh, my whole so fucking you have collection. Your own wow. thoughts uh, now. 
The world's really moving. Fuck off, Sonny. Okay, y'all. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the fancy oh, car right look quick. Look at that. Isn't that the new? I want to know what this car is called. Please make it fantastic. Here we go, y'all. It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of all that's furry, whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. Ibn. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah. Yeah. Because the thing like is. fellow drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. Here's the thing that I'm really. One of the reasons why I'm moving back to just my singles. I'm going to switch back right quick. Esa porque. One shadow is doing all the blend and shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to do any blending if I don't want to, which I hate, you know? <gasps> Not Rockadoodle! Oh my god! I love you for bringing back Rockadoodle. Holy shit, that was a fucking great movie. But, like, that's the point. Like, if I just want to put on one shadow, I put on one shadow, it looks like I have on two, maybe three, and, just, <laughs> and like, an inner eye corner. Even my under eye. This whole look is three eyeshadows, but it looks like it's seven. And, like, I'm here for that. <laughs> Let's talk to the store. Lady. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, scared and you? wallets. And in the mirror... Dark crystals scared me. It was the Skeksis. and earrings. Mmm. Mmm. That shit scared me. It also made me terrified of getting too thin. <laughs> Honestly. Because I was afraid I was going to look like a Skeksis. If you... <laughs> just Google Skeksis or just Google Dark Crystal. You'll see why I was afraid. Don't be so radical, Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. Mm, that was kind of deep. Yeah. It's not. Just bullshit. There's more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Wait, that was deep again, right? Yeah, I doubted zero as well. I think you have talent at it. The thing is, here's the thing. Before we go in the club, I'm going to tell you. The thing about doing makeup is to realize that in the real world, nobody fucking cares. Let me just... <laughs> nobody notices. Nobody notices if your shadow is blended perfectly. Nobody notices if your wings are perfect. Nobody notices. And even if they did, if somebody walked up to me and was like, hey, your wings are e uneven, I would tell them that so are your tits. Have a nice day. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to let you attack me. <laughs> if you don't have tits, I'm going to say shit about your balls. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm going to hit back. You're not going to come up to me criticizing my makeup. You can eat shit. Like, but in real life, no one notices that. And no one's even that critical, even if they do notice. Like it's only little forums that are assholes, friend, about you, right? You know. Wait, what was his Only name? little forums will tell you that you uh, can't Lawrence do makeup, and you're like, I don't give a no, fuck. <laughs> Heather, I'm sorry. Lewis, yes, it's him. <laughs> to be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Exactly, yeah. Nobody's Get perfectly fucked. sane in Like I do not care. Money. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. Like, I'll never uh, forget that. Even on times where I haven't blended my eyeshadow or done, I always only get compliments. And that's it. So I'm like, oh my god, I like your eyeshadow. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. Uh. Like, I nobody has ever just been like, um, your eyebrows are a smidgen uneven. That's never happened. Or kill <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally never happened in real life. These people get on the internet and start wilding. I'm You're like, listen, my mind, boss. come at me in real life and see what happens to you. I'm not a nice person. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to the bouncer. Look Jeez, at him. Look at that guy. That's not a guy. 
That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a... Me and my lopsided titties would never critique someone's makeup. It's such a distasteful thing to do. All of our titties are lopsided. One's always bigger. And if you have a partner, they can tell you which one it is because it's the one they're always grabbing. Yeah, I bet his name's Bill. It's the one they hold tight to when they're going to bed. They grab the bigger titty. <laughs> Nah, he's definitely a bob. Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. But I feel like I didn't talk to Lewis. I think I looked at Lewis. Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. This is so I good. No idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. And if you miss any part of it, like the, this one, I'm going to be um, story games for sure. I'm going to be uploading the VOD uh, to uh, Audra Rain's game. So if you're not subscribed there, you might want to be because like story games, I'm going to pop up there so that you can follow the story. Pleasure's uh, all mine, excuse Lawrence. Me. I squeeze my butt cheeks, even though there's nothing back there. Whenever a man tries to look at my butt cheeks, I'm like, sir, I don't know what you're looking for, but you won't find it back there. You'll be better off looking at my gorgeous face. Cause there ain't no ass back there, so there ain't no ass. <laughs> Lawrence. <clears throat> Anyways. So, the legendary chicken police back together? <laughs> Pancake pack for news? real. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't ruffle my feathers. I'm literally loose. having pancakes for dinner. I think gone. it's like two pancakes. We're just here yeah, for that's, the entertainment. I've been able to keep or something like food that. down today. Or I'm gonna say in. I see. <laughs> that's a Cause I'm not throwing see, it off. <laughs> see you inside. That's not the problem. <laughs> I have something to do, my f f f f pal, but I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay then, catch you later, pal. You know what's funny is like, well, not funny, but I never understand Howdy, why people pal. don't have any patience for someone who stutters, because I always do. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful chili? Heather, maybe the chicken is trying to seduce you, because chickens be known for seduction. <laughs> I just made that up, please. Now we're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Oh my God, it's Jean-Claude Van Damme and Ram. <laughs> well, stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah. I've, uh, 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 don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. Oh my God, Sonny. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. I kind of really like this round. Yeah, right. Oh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Fuck. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean me? She owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. This car that just keeps driving past is fucking... Ram, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Rams be secretive as fuck. <gasps> Emmy, I love Beatles. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course, Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman. And also a frequent visitor of the club. Does it have any horns, Emmy? Is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. Well, like, did you touch it? Does it have horns? You can tell the autistics in here. 
the ram is French. The ram is, in fact, French. <laughs> I'm like, you can always tell the autistics in here. You found a bug? We're interested. Let us know about the bug. <laughs> Explain bug. Touch bug? <laughs> bug have horns? <laughs> Explain. We need more information. <laughs> I don't really think I want to use my police badge because I don't think that that'd be a good idea right this second. There it is. Averia, a country inhabited exclusively. Oh, like Avery. So I didn't touch it, but I am still admiring it. I don't think it has horns unless the horns can be very small. Probably not. Greenish orangey. Does its legs have those, um, does it have little like, uh, little flares kind of poking out of the legs or is it like a uh, jagged, like a, like a serrated knife? <laughs> Listen, please. It's a country inhabited exclusively by birds. It's picturesque, modern place, governed by a democratic parliament. Of course, birds would have a democratic parliament. It's bordered by two seas, and its economy is built mostly on air transport, commerce, and its aerial military. The country's on neutral terms with almost every other nation, and except for the Great Meat War, had kept this standpoint all throughout North not the meat war. Um, I need to go over here and talk to that damn impala. Yeesh, my condolences, pal. I see your cleaning all, lady died. Jagged and hairy. Okay. Let me. Okay. I'm like like a serrated. I like how I'm, I'm not a bug autistic, but I love the excitement. Let me just like confirm. Wait, but are there like spots on it or is it just orangey green, like reflective, like a, um, oh, like a, um, multi-chrome or duochrome. Because this might be it might be does it have like long like yeah, okay, so I'm thinking it's the longhorned borer beetle. Listen, don't look at me. <laughs> Please look away from me. I like beetles. <laughs> beetles are very fascinating to me. Uh, Southeast US. <laughs> now, here's the hard thing about beetles is they do have like specific places where they normally are, right? However, with the way in which we have done all of our migration they end up in other places especially like fruit vegetables they end up there doing that as well you're in the southeast u.s let's see because i figured like out here we have some very like interesting because it doesn't really have any like little horns so that does rule that beetle out but it might be hmm wait hold on let me go double check my Listen, let me <laughs> like, oh, it's a green June beetle. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. They're so freaking pretty. There are some beetles here in Texas where you're just like, what the fuck is that? There's a lot of bugs that you run into in Texas where you're just like, what the yeah, fuck is that? She said like you just see it, you're like, I've once. never seen anything like this before my whole life. There's, it happens every year. Literally every year there's a new bug that I've never seen before. I'm like, all right. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But 
What's that smell? Ah, cigarettes and whiskey. Okay, first of all, why are you smoking in your house? Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no, this is lavender? Ah, that. No, that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? Oh, my God. Holy hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your nose is better than... Bro could smell blood. that she was an Impala. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Because he's a bloodhound. Natural enemies. <laughs> yeah, true. Except for my... It is, in fact, the madman of chicken games. Listen, if they make another one of these, I'm playing it as well. I'm going to play every chicken police game until they suck. Monica if they ever is suck. a fairy, not a bird. So, <clears throat> what now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We got to find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. After you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. Okay, <laughs> what is up, Swope? Welcome in. How's your day? How are you doing? How are you living? Sure, Can we get a shout out for the friend of the channel? All right, I've looked at all this shit. Pile of paper. Oh, do I have to go to the bedroom? Mm, it would be best to board it up. It, it may be run down, but somehow. Sure. You can live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Oh. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Ooh, Fallout. Uh, why am I not surprised? We had our rain earlier this morning, and I was so glad that I had the day off. <laughs> he says, let me grab my stuff. What fucking stuff, bro? Just a bunch of useless crap in there. All right. Oh, I already got all the shit out of that for sure, for sure. I have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off this upcoming week, but <laughs> if if my <laughs> if my patrons and channel members will allow it, <laughs> we're gonna watch The Rock. It'll be on the background though. Uh, I'm doing background movies. Oh. All right, Marty. I guess we can leave. You're getting older, Marty. You look like shit. That's really not... That's uncalled for. Ah, gee. Thanks. Emmy, no. They, they do not. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, Ladybug is a beetle. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? I was just thinking about... Oh, what the hell are we looking for, anyway? Jeez, old bird. You want to look around, remember? No, I mean figurative. Oh, well, then it's a good question. Hang to I know. <sighs> uh, thanks for your help, partner. It's a pleasure to work with you again. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Yeah, boss. no, it sucks. <laughs> if you're talking to me, like, no, you gotta buy. Like, I am currently in a position where, like, uh, because everything has just gotten so fucking expensive, every fucking pay period, I'm having to buy like another pair of socks. Uh, not well. I also do need more work socks. I need more work shoes, and it's just it's fucking it's so fucking expensive. Ah, uh, it drives me nuts. Like my job is. <laughs> My job is hella expensive. Where did that girl go, though? Maybe he can help us. The fly certainly cannot. <laughs> Every time I see that, like, we don't serve bugs here. God dang. Rude. Yeah, it's, it's bad. And it's just like, I have to keep buying all this stuff for work. So it just makes... Like, maybe I do have to show my badge. Fuck. Is Lucas really Lewis? Lewis. And yes, he's got the whole chicken police book. Call series. him by his name. Damn so his call taste. out his name. 
Also, is anybody interested in me watching that fucking idol show? Look, Lewis, that bouncer over there. Well, yes, he is a bit intimidating, but his. Uh, Let me know. Uh, I will sink Am myself right? into the depths of hell. Yes, indeed. We will watch it tonight, together. I will force the hell on y'all as well. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, um. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Listen, I love, love, love a trashy show about like Hollywood because they're so bad that it's delicious. Yeah, something like that. Adela, <laughs> listen, you're talking to someone who watched that show with like Misha Barton. Not, not the OC, because I know everybody's gonna go, the OC, no, she helmed this other show. I loved it, it got canceled hella fast, and I was so upset because I loved that trashy ass show. It was so good, and I was very upset when it got canceled. And like, a lot of people don't know, I have to like Google it because I can't remember what it was called. It was, it was, and it was um, produced by Ashton Kutcher. Like, it, beautiful life, the beautiful life. There we go. Produced by Ashton Kutcher. I loved the trashiness. It was so deliciously bad. I swear I'm gonna start doing my thing on like forgotten shows, like forgotten trash shows, or just like forgotten shows. No, because no, there's so no, many no, where no. I was like, I no, love it. No problem at all. Come with me. I'll... Yes, I knew I didn't want to use my badge. Lewis is here Where's to the boss? rescue. Ow. Let's go, yeah, rabbit. Thanks, bunny. Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? Yeah, dude, why'd you call him a bunny? He's a grown-ass rabbit. What? Did I say something wrong? Sir, how'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, okay? Largement, sir. Wait, LRP. What is that? That's for you. <clears throat> you owe me one. Should I Google that? Gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. He always says I owe him, it but he's never gonna make me to do you. anything. And we go to the, the club. Has overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles. Oh, Lily Rose Depp, got you. Harmonious voices of pretty dance. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about her titties just being it was the kind all of place town. that makes you drunk, even if you've never. For like no seen. reason though. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Zara. Well, Thank you, Heather. Thank you. We watched all them real worlds before it just got ridiculous. I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Which chicken is more attractive? <laughs> Don't even say Because I think it's Sunny. Because his, um, cockle, is that what it's called at the top? <laughs> his cockle flap? I'm just like, I'm just making up things for chickens. Please forgive me. Um, <laughs> his looks better. Oh, okay. Men these days. So we're here to find a dame called Natasha. <laughs> Peppy. <laughs> Not the cockle flap. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Sorry. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. How are we gonna avoid suspicion? Look at our outfits. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time it's for real. It is probably like yes, cause his like uh, chicken jowls are better looking as well. They don't look as wrinkled. 
Sorry, Marty. Sorry to talk shit about your cockle flaps and your your chicken jowls. What in the fuck? I love the way that the birds like blink like birds. Hey, there's Filmar. <laughs> you were chickens and coats. Who? Oh yes, Filmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly and in like, Iberia. Are any of them upset Claudel, that they're wearing leather gloves? Place <laughs> and another life. And a leather coat? Sounds as good. Chickens? Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> That's a fucking hilarious Omega's welcome in. <laughs> yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. All right, we're gonna talk to this uh, fucking bird. Well, well. It's a fish. This is the great detective, Marlo. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Oh. Okay, Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. I have a serious question, and the question is, do birds have dicks? Now, before anybody gets mad at me, he is the one who said blow me, and I, now I'm curious. Thank you. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a feather pillow mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? Hey, that was a long time. Turk Cayman? I was young. Turkey man? Uh, principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fuck. <laughs> it's a trap. Okay, okay, fair enough. To find out. Sorry, I'm a little... I know, nobody tonight. wants their Google search filled with Do birds have dicks? <laughs> <sighs> I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? <laughs> Not the point, huh? We stick out. <laughs> that is the perfect time like for that redeem. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That is painful now that I think about it. Like ducks? Do you think that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm gonna say it because it's too late now. That was probably the inspiration for that scene in Seven. If you know, you know. If you don't, don't look it up. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs, angelic Same. voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Oh boy. And you? <laughs> Somebody just tells us this information. None of us wanted to know. We were fine. <laughs> yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind of toy with. That's like how I learned that they, like with ants, they have a, a very acute sense of smell. So they would spray these ants with like death ant smell, but they were alive, right? And the death ants would go into the ant hill, and then the other ants who would fucking carry him out? So, <laughs> them booty bitch. Yeah. Yeah. shake it, yeah. get it. Yeah. Um, and but like, so it just goes to show that the ants weren't so much concerned about whether or not you could move. It was that you smelled dead, and so they just kept carrying the dead ones back out. Like and they, but the dead smelling ones, but they were alive and they kept walking back in to do ant business. And the other ants were like, "Listen, fam, you are dead," and they would take them back out. <laughs> Any useful information? Yeah. For free. Stop clucking around, Philmar. For, stop calling him that. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. I knew that as well, Emmy. I do enjoy like a bat, 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 boom. Oh my God. Okay. 
more information. Good old Filmar the Finch must know something about Natasha that could be important for the case, but he won't talk until I meet her. He seemed a bit nervous. It must be something really significant. Okay. Oh, he's a falcon, not a finch. I'm terrible with my birds. His name is Phil Marlowe. He's a falcon, Falco Bergoria, Berigora, Bagora. I'm not gonna keep saying it. Male, special feature, an absolutely average, forgettable guy, and my old acquaintance from a very Avria. Let me just tell you, that's like almost every guy I've ever dated. Anyway. Filmar, the name he goes by nowadays, is an old comrade from before the Clawville times. He's one of the best private eyes in the city, and just like most of them, he gets into trouble with the law pretty often, yet he's one of the very few people who can still be trusted in Clawville. Thanks, homie. Is that a horse's mate? Y'all, I'm, listen, look at this fucking horse back here. Look at it. Look at its mane. Stop it. Two whiskeys, kid, and no horsing around. Stop it! I've never heard that one before. Uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Oh my god, hold on. Hey, long face, give me a glass of tap water too, okay? Please, not long face. Yes, sir, coming right up. Stop that it! Wasn't exactly what I meant. As I recall, you're always bragging about hiding your shotgun in your coat so well, no one can see it. <laughs> sure, maybe I have it with me now. <sighs> What? What do you see that bottle, Marty? That's a 28-year-old Golden Eagle whiskey. The hair is giving. Of all the furry gods, you're right. Listen. And they've just left it on the bar. Someone ordered it, got so drunk he forgot all about it. So we're confiscating it as evidence. Are y'all stealing booze? Uh, yeah. Drunken cocks? Like stealing it. But if it's easier for you. Ah, uh, you're twisted, pal. But to be honest, I have no objections. Hmm. Look, uh, Sonny, I know it's not in my place, but. Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, <laughs> got too far. We just stole a bottle of fucking whiskey. You're treading on thin ice, Monty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, yeah. eh? About what? People about are talking. Blood boil took my bag. Talking about people. About <laughs> gotta open like a bar called hand. the Drunken Cock. Listen, I'm in. I will help with that. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Good. And let it stay that way. Yeah. Yeah, Sunny's beak is shorter. And, like, he also doesn't have, like, as big of a vagina ear as my, like, it looks like a pussow. I'm not wrong. That side thing on the side, does that not look like a pussow? Like, a little bit? Like, not a perfect pussow? Like, one, maybe in a At least we're cracking this one field. together, yeah? Anyways. One's just like the slit and one has labia. That's all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna stop. Sure, Marty. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm ruining it. I'm, I'm an asshole. Listen, I apologize. Gentlemen, your drinks. Yeah, uh, sorry, but we have to run. Uh, thanks anyway, Bojack. Ugh, my name is not Bojack. Yeah, I 
tip you, pal, but sure, sir. The Tsar welcomes you back anytime. I should have probably Bojang. waited to steal the alcohol. Y'all, Eeyore is gonna be so upset that they missed this. <sighs> Anything else, sirs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Ed. Keep up the good work. Oh my god, stop being so derogatory! Tell me, hey breath, have you seen the <sighs> You're so mean to this horse. Not yet, sir, but she's coming on soon. Well, can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? Sir, I I don't want to. Keep cleaning that glass. What about let's see. Five dollars? But sir, you haven't even paid for your drinks yet. Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, big nose. You do your job and we'll do ours, okay? Y'all are so rude to this hair, this horse whose hair, I'm like, this hair. Thank you. They are racist towards this horse. This horse's hair is just serving at the highest possible level. I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. And they're just like being oh, assholes. Yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. Of course, gentlemen. Mm. Let's look at this way. Pretty long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. Pretty squirrels? Of course we're here to remember? stare at pretty squirrels. What else are we supposed to be doing? That girl is looking up. She's just looking at anyone whose glass is empty, Marty. That's all. Uh, no, 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 Sonny. She was staring at me like hard. I don't I think it. so. Your bottom flap is not Marty, as high. You're imagining things. Oh, wait a second. You see that, right? She's looking right at us with those big, black, <laughs> weird squirrel eyes. Okay, Marty, don't panic. And just look elsewhere and walk away slowly. Creepy little squirrel girl. <laughs> Not them talking shit about her. Is she really a squirrel? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's a squirrel. Oh, there's a big buck, literally. So, <laughs> talking where to the like. Hell is Natasha? One of those things that everybody has a ferret. Well, let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. Mm, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. Oh, but I'm. Oh man, your sense of humor is bad as ever. <laughs> you just need to get used to it again. What? About... God, he's way too horny. Ah, this is the life. No, no. What I'm trying to do is. Ah, this is the... He looks like a coat hanger to me. Uh, that was actually... <laughs> I try. So I actually cannot talk to him. Okay. A fox is a wolf who sends flowers. What? What? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't oh, make sense. Nothing. I read it somewhere. A fox is a wolf who sends flowers. Not me trying to read into that. That's so embarrassing. Look away from me. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Oh my god, there's so much more to this bar than I thought there was. Oh my god, there's a henchman. I'm afraid to look at the stage because I'm afraid it will cause Natasha to just be up there. <laughs> there's my stolen bottle of booze. Nice. Not be a giraffe because that is like way too small and then that's a llama i feel like or an alpaca remember that old case with the fox and the raven how could i even forget God, absurd right all that bloodshed for a piece of cheese the way that this game yeah 
Hunger can bring out the monster in animals, right? Right. That's the wildest and most primordial instincts, no matter how civilized they seem. As you say, Monty. Okay, I'm gonna look at the stage just in case. I was hoping to have missed the main event. You're a rusty old cock, that's why. <laughs> Not you're a rusty old cock. So says the little butt jam. I don't understand that insult. But what? That's not even a word. It is now, all because of you. You should feel honored, butt jam. But what does it mean? Uh, you know, Sonny, sometimes you're like an evil little child. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. We're all sitting here like, what the fuck is a butt jam? This guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. But like he is? Oh, I know this fodder guy. He was kind of good in Death of the Horse. Piranica Kate. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen every cluckin' movie. You know, Laura and I go to the movies a lot. When was the last time you went? Sir. Exactly 12 years ago. Before I lost oh, my lady. You remember that precisely? Yeah, of course it's gonna be Molly. Yes. Yep, our very first date. I see. What did you watch? I don't remember. I just remember her and nothing else. You're a clucking poet. I mean it. All right, well, that was a good time. Yes, it is. The great Ibn Wessler, in the flesh. You think he noticed us? Only if he's not entirely blind. Ah, uh, great. Oh, fuck. That woman with Ibn, I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. I didn't realize that that gorgeous raven... Just act nonchalant, my friend. I'm acting nonchalant. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. It is Olivia. Are you talking to me? Oh, snap. It's me, Marty McChicken. <laughs> Not him saying his full name. Oh, God. What a pleasant surprise. The roaster coppers in person. That's exactly how a mobster rat Chicken was out. police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is... Uh, he is... Uh... <sighs> Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion. Second. I'm a rat. Yeah, so, um, we, we were, um, just in the neighborhood and... And? Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh, I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood red paint. The usual stuff. You must. I understand. I would have taken manners into my own hands, you see. But is that a crow busy. or a raven? Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hemtaro yesterday, so he's rather tired. If you would. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job. Right? He's a rat, rat. Like a rat, rat. Like he's he's a rat that's ratting. So, 
How can I help you? We've got a few questions, if you don't mind. Wait. Hold on. I do I have to, like... Okay, hold on.
All right, send help. I'm arguing with the anti Shein girls on Twitter again. Can't stand them. They really just make me mad. Very much just so. <laughs> First, we have to see what we've learned. He's been acting. <laughs> yeah, but they just, sometimes they just really start pissing me off because they don't fucking understand poverty. They're like, if you have enough money to buy three $8 shirts, and they're like literally making the argument for themselves. If you have enough money to buy three $8 shirts, you have enough money to buy one twenty one. I'm like, the problem isn't the one fucking shirt, you idiots. It's literally the quantity of shirts. Name Olivia Blackwig. She is a crow, Corvus Corone. Female, special feature, unusually tall and slim for a crow. She is quiet and mysterious. Yeah, they can. They just piss me off because I'm like, when you're broke and these jobs require you to wear certain outfits and certain types of clothing, you can't, <laughs> you can't tell somebody just buy one, one, one twenty dollars shirt. Just thrift. First of all, thrifting is very expensive and time consuming. I hate it when people try to bring up thrifting as if it's some magical thing. It is very time consuming. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna go and dig through all this shit to find two good items. No. Olivia is currently a Ivan Wessler's assistant and escort. Finding out whether there is anything other than a working relationship between Ms. Crow and Mr. Rat could prove valuable. All right, so I gotta find out if they're like kicking it. Look, detective, if you wanna know something. All right, Mr. Wessler. I am asking. I'm not as exciting as people tend to believe. <laughs> Hi, you know, Manders. What's up? <laughs> Welcome in. I'm the only one still alive, unfortunately. My career started with a shoe store. <laughs> Thank you. And now, here I am. Exactly, Heather. And that's the point that so many people keep trying to make, but they don't want to listen. I'm just like, listen, I'm regular size. I can find clothes any fucking wear. But like, one, I don't even like Ross. You're talking to somebody, I can't even stand to go to Ross, okay? Because the amount of time it takes, I cannot handle it. I can't handle shifting through shit like that. <laughs> I wouldn't call that an average life. Shoe store owner to mob boss. How dare you speak to Mr. Wessler like that? Leave it, Olivia, dear. It's just provocation. I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Wessler. Shall we talk about something else? Yeah, like Olivia. Has your assistant been working for you long? I don't know how many videos I've seen of people repurposing plus size clothes. That part to fit their smaller frame bodies, period. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Just take size zero stuff and, and make, the, make it look better. What was wrong with that? <laughs> Oh, just uh, routine questioning, you know. Most of them aren't good for anything. Just killing time. It sounded rude to me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All of that, Em. And thank you for liking my tweets. <laughs> yeah, please forgive a detective. Olivia's a real firecracker. Yeah, like thrifting is not what it used to be. I feel like people just think it's like, oh, and people are like, oh, I use thread up. And I had to learn that everybody can't use thread up here. either because there's not a lot of plus size options there. Well, thank you, but it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. Listen, detective, if you want to know something, please ask straight, huh? Exactly. All yeah. right, Mr. Wesley, <laughs> let's make this a real. bit more professional. 
Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's an antique piece of furniture yes. in the city, so to speak. Manders, fuck yeah. Only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, detective. But the name of his family still rings quite loud in Clawville. Is that still worth anything? The name is just a name, of course. But the man behind the name is another matter, Mr. Like, Hayward. I will never forget trying to see, like, how much a pair of, like, quote-unquote quality jeans. It was $100 for one pair of jeans. You're Bitch, get out. Rat. No. If I get three pair of jeans for $100, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm not a rich person. Thank you. <laughs> because what that really means is that my one pair of quote unquote good quality jeans is going to get threadbare because I'm going to have to wash those more. Because I only have that one. Don't be shy, detective. Yes. All right, Mr. Wessler. Memories, geez, just spare me uh, the details. Stream elements, I'm eating slowly because we know my gut is not a friend. Hey, Marty, I bet you wouldn't dare to go up to him and ask if he hasn't seen your fur coat. <laughs> what? Why? I'm mad, yeah, but not suicidal. Ah, are you chicken or what? Wait, did he just ask a chicken if he's this chicken? Awful bird. <laughs> Are you chicken? Nah, chicken shit. No! <laughs> Alright. I've asked him questions. Remember that other case with the. Oh, gosh, Mark. Uh, my mom. His dealer, actually. Ah, yeah. You're right. We found the rabbit. Also, most of those sustainable clothing life. stores only sell business or business casual. I don't want to dress like I'm going to an office 24 7. Yeah. There was something called like Frank and Oak. Two missing legs. Actually. Like, I got one tank but, top yeah. and like, oh, it was so fucking expensive. What happened and that was back when I had the money to do that shit. Little and little I, blurry. like, I still like it, but I'm like, this was a white, white fucking muscle tee. It was damn near 70 some odd dollars. And again, that was back when I had like some money to burn. Your now I, I can't do that. Your bottomless pit of a mine <laughs> is a dark and sad little place. The turtle thought he would run faster if he ate the legs of the rabbit. You know what? This city's seriously fucked up. Show you right. Marty. Uh, just one more thing, Philmar. I see you haven't changed a bit. Do you think we're walking into a trap? You, you know, I couldn't figure out this Natasha woman, even when I worked for her. Oh, I can see his falconess. Okay. And the trouble is bigger than I thought. Just take care of yourselves and don't leave your guns out of reach. Oh, that's never happened. <laughs> Yeah, this crazy cock even sleeps Marty McChicken is such an action hero. Oh my god. Over. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to have to bring y'all into it. If I can, if I can do it, Take I will bring care, it. Phil. You too, old fart. Let me look at the stage again. Maybe, maybe it's going to start happening. What is it, butt jam? <laughs> Nothing, old fart. I'm like over here breathing hard. I'm sorry. I'm like. <sighs> <sighs> uh, the magic. No, no. Just... We're done with that. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall yet. Oh. <gasps> ah. How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. Okay. And now you. 
Are we done? No, I have more questions for you, rat. I'm sorry to hear that. Why didn't you just call the police? Huh? Why? What would have been the use of that? A few messages aren't enough for a case. You should know. But you're that. a gangster. Harassment makes for a case. So do threats. Who are you trying to convince, Sonny? Huh? They would have laughed in my face. Anyway, you know, the police station. Once I set foot in there, eh, I'm not coming out again. True, rat. True. Are too good for that, Eben. Yeah, I guess you're right, chicken. <laughs> no, let me check it. Why would anyone have reason to blackmail your girlfriend? I don't know. Uh, maybe because she's my girlfriend. You are not answering straight. You think that's enough? It's plenty enough. He keeps giving me them little eyes. Good point. Oh, are you finally getting to a point? Or do you really want to dig around in my private life? Because uh, people who do that end up in the alley. If you catch my drift. I do in fact catch your drift. Very much so, Mr. Wessler. Relax. Wessler is tougher than I thought. And he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Okay. Don't you find these messages dangerous? That specific word is, uh, it's insulting and obscene, and unfortunately, everyone could see it on the street. I'm sure you know they painted it on the wall. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. It's unpleasant, but no threat in itself. I put it down to some jealous showgirl or uh, a deluded fan. Nothing more. This is haggling. Jealousy can be dangerous. What are you talking about? I'm a rat. Yeah, most crazies are harmless. You know that firsthand? Yeah, do you? Anything else? Yes. I gotta gently beat around the bush. Is everything all right between you and Natasha? Yeah, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Hm. Understandable, I guess. Naturally, our relationship is stable and perfect. I'm the setting, she's the gemstone. Eh, if you know what I mean. I don't. I rarely hear such poetry, but uh, I understand exactly what you mean, Mr. Wessler. I like it. So, you have your answer. No recent friction? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? I would, because I'm going to hook up with it your cat lady. It would make my job easier. Yeah, it would only lead you astray. So be glad that I tell you no. No friction. Ibn is quick-tempered, and I can use that to my advantage. I've confounded and softened him with my previous questions. Now it's time to be now specific time to go in. and ruthless. We're going to go in, chat. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out? Huh? No. A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, uh, when was it exactly? You don't remember. That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. <laughs> she was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Okay. And one day, I invited Call me Big her Daddy when you bag that ass up. If she was willing to meet me, <laughs> she had a place for her. I guess she was willing the next day 
She had the club in her name. Well, that is romantic. Eh, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap and there's expensive. You get what you can afford. Ow, Peta. <laughs> nice redeem. And the rat is spitting facts. <laughs> Do you live in the same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Gold Town. But she has her own kind of a weekend house. Mm, how often does she use the weekend house? Every weekend? Yeah, every other weekend, roughly. I see. That's very important information. It is, I guess. I don't know why. Yeah, if you say so. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Yeah, I know what you're getting at, but I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are frequent. Hmm, illegal gambling nights. I like, he, this rat is really making New York face. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy by the roulette wheel. I like his shoulders. It's giving Always rat. putting it all <laughs> on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. Yeah, right. So, can we meet your lady? Yeah. I don't see why not. But first... I think I did it. Listen to her sing. A three? Oh my god! Yes! Yay! This is so hard to do. <laughs> because genuinely, I get lost in the sauce of what we're supposed to be talking about. I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh, we'll be you. I get four out of five stars. I'm a questioning. So hopefully, I'll get better. Snoop <laughs> <laughs> I have no about Thank that, you, Heather. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm like so glad I have these uh, sound redeems because they're so fun to me. I'm sorry. Here. You know, for old time's sake. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. She said, absolutely not. Also, aren't you married, Marty oh. McChicken? Please take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. Oh my god, if this is like a Jessica Rabbit moment, I'm gonna lose my mind. everything do y'all see this did y'all see the chick oh my god her teeth are right This chicken had an out of chicken was, experience. Uh, unique. 
<laughs> he was like, whoa. <laughs> I, Heather, I cannot. Oh, that is cute. You can see her Nobody tail moving. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Forgive me, my name She's is a Russian Santino blue. Featherland. <laughs> I thought so. You look more Today, this like is... I imagined. More or less. Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Girl. Uh -huh. You were amazing, dear. As always. Get away from me, rat. <laughs> Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? <laughs> Not cocktail. Well, of course. Ibn will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't Nobody's been talking to you, Marty. Do you not see me. the eye contact those two have? Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're ruining the vibe. Hi, it. Janet. That's why I'm telling you. <laughs> More chicken police. Scene. My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Ooh. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. So here's my number. I understand. Come you know, they call him Target Marty at the station. <laughs> I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Well, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. Three, pause three. I'll be waiting. Go before he comes back. Of course, you saucy little mix. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. Sorry, Russian she blue. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies, or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching. Wishing to be the friction in your jeans. Skin. But that's the vibe. I was a cop, and a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Sonny is simping hard for this cat. you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror do you even recognize yourself maybe you were trying to be rude but you know that's a very good question oh my god i was just trying to be rude oh really well then i'm sorry don't mention it are they flirting I'm like, are they flirting? Damn, is this her back ass naked? Oh my god. Looky, Gee, looky. That is a uh, unique picture and kind of daring. I admit I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before. And you never will. <laughs> yes, I admit it's a little daring. I keep it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. A most wonderful artist. I'm falling apart. He's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? If you took it as more than it is. I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Heather, I see what you mean about this chicken. You're <laughs> funny. Feels like he's flirting with you. <laughs> You're like, I don't think I... How do I... 
the seventh rule of predation. Predation, a chicken police story. So she's got a chicken police book. Girl. Let's this look at woman's it. aware of her charm and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. Ooh. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? Neat with a bit of fur. In a glass. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. Like, stop trying to make me blush. <laughs> I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. Of course not. Is she gonna, like, get it and be like... I'm sorry. I get offended sorry. if women don't drink in my company. Oh. Oh, you are a funny guy. I am. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Featherland. It's sunny. Saves us a lot of time. I like it better when she causes Mr. Featherland. Okay, Sonny. So, why am I here? <laughs> you know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Not your bush. Oh, this is getting weird. I'm so is sorry. It's too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard. Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. <laughs> Listen, Heather, I have problems. <laughs> Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite... Bad. I know, today it's like, ma'am... What are you doing? Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? Maybe. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> Well then, oh, listen. Come at me. Oh, girl. Oh, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. I am literally going to collapse. Like, this is a lot. He does know more than he's trying, than he's willing to tell about the threats. Natasha is a mysterious woman indeed and seems dangerous too, but she's undoubtedly in serious trouble. The question is, is she the source of the problem or is it someone else? That's a good question, actually. He did hesitate when they, like, met. He was like, er, uh, what? Let me, I feel like I didn't check this. Oh, no, I did. I did. Okay. All right, girl, you ready for me to ask you some Seriously, questions? Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I live. Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? Yes. You're so cute when you're playing naive. Well, who is it? Have is it you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. And otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. And it's sunny. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find nothing but a dead end. You sexy, sexy thing, you. This woman's aware of her. All right. I 
talk to oh the chandelier you got a beautiful place here natasha a peaceful little island on the ocean of madness i don't know if i'm gonna finish the chapter because i'm getting sleepy already because i'm just a tired little little ant <laughs> you're an elegant thing yourself sweetheart uh the sweetheart does kind of fuck me up a little oh bit. that's charming thank you detective Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that, but I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. That was a remarkable performance. I don't like how she's staring at me like that. You enjoyed it? Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. If she had on a crown, we'd be kind of fucked up. Sadly, I don't have the time. But this stage still calls my name, and I perform just a few times. He does know his way around a pet name. Always with a new and I'm song. dead by that. <laughs> so that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. The place is very elegant. And uh, so's your room. Why, thank you. I kind of feel like I'm in a museum. Well, that depends on the kind of museum. Don't be pointing at me like that. The kind Ooh. with nice things. Oh. Suspiciously nice things, just like you. Do you think I'm suspicious? We'll see about that. You're a cat. Try me. Y'all are always suspicious. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. Well, okay, Maddo. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Ooh, now she's calling me Mr. Detective. Uh, I see. Hold up, girl. <laughs> Why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't you come to me? Yeah. Didn't you ask her the same thing already? Maybe I did. I want I to hear did, from you. But I like to hear it from all sides. Oh my god, I'm a detective. Mm, well, since this whole thing started, I admit I'm not too keen on leaving my home. When I do, it's only with an escort. An escort, yeah. Ibn Wessler has nothing to do with this. Ibn has everything to do with me. Almost everything. But I didn't want to upset him with this. He thinks I'm over. Now I'm gonna ask about Ibn. Concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. What was in those threats exactly? The message itself is not a threat, it's just What's a the word, word girl. The word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So, you really don't have any idea? Which word could be used for a woman like me? Pussy. Oh, listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was too literal. <laughs> Please, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I feel bad for anybody who was lurking and you're just minding your business. Uh, yes. What is the word? <laughs> oh, it's whore. That's not... <laughs> Hurts. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ow. <laughs> These 
getting on my nerves too. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I said what you were thinking, and yes, that was in the message. Oh god. Well, thank you for your honesty. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I was too literal. <laughs> well, that was awkward. <sighs> oh, mom, my mom's like messaging like, hey, if you want to order yourself some food, I'm like, I am 17 steps ahead of you actually already. <laughs> Uh, because I just, I, uh, honestly, I knew my stomach was just going to be an asshole. So hold on. Let me see. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know why I can't hold things. <laughs> what about Philmar? Is he here because of you? Like, plus it said it with so much confidence, too. That's the problem. Mr. Lowe helped me before, and <laughs> he was the first I approached. You've managed to curb my enthusiasm a little. Doesn't keeping two irons in the fire give me a better chance? But you don't have to worry. He didn't find anything. And he's not interested anymore. No matter how much I offer to pay him. Girl, what? Why? You'll have to ask him. I think Which I'll I will. Do that. So it's not a fan and not an inside job. What do you suspect? Aren't you supposed to know that? Girl, if you don't back the fuck up off me, Usually, like... Yes, but I've got nothing to go on. And you don't have a hunch. Maybe I do. But first, I want to know if you'll even accept my case. Maybe, but you're a sneaky broad. I'm here, aren't I? That's true, but I must know if I can trust you. I stole your whiskey. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. What? Excuse me. I wish it was that simple. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. I got you. I got you, Sonny. I won't let you down. I'm gonna ask her. Ah, thank you for the follow, Christy. <laughs> There's like a bunch of weird things happening at one time. I literally don't know how, why there's so many things there, but thank you for the follow. I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you, no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator, or it's, you're really It's both that things. Desperate. She is a manipulator, and she's desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Okay. All right. It's getting it's getting serious. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. Honestly, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I knew if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. That would be wild if that's the reason. Like, I'm following because of that. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent foul. Not a decent would foul. Me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Listen, now we're going to be flirty. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? <sighs> I, I did. 
I knew I checked you out before I sent Debra. Girl, why are you lying all the time? This case is getting more and more He said, more cluck intriguing. me. <laughs> cluck me. I'm going to start saying that in my videos. You played me for... So, you're going to walk away? You're damn right. I don't know if it's worth it for me. Look, Sonny, money's not an issue. Well... Oh, yeah, your fawn had already mentioned that. But unfortunately, it'll be hard to spend all that dough when I'm dead. Dead? Don't even say that. Girl! Do you have a gun? Me? Who else is in this room, no, girl? It's just me and you. Pleasure. Do you have it on you? Not at the moment. Well, let me give you some advice. Keep it with you, always. Maybe in your purse. She you is a femme catal. Whoever they are would hurt me. Don't be naive, Natasha. You're right. I'll keep it with me. I don't want to scare you, but two cops snooping around can mess something like this up, even if it's just two roosters. All right. Keep snooping? Thank you, Sonny. Maybe you're getting yourself into even deeper trouble with me. Thank me when this is all over. I thank you. Four? Oh my god, I got true detective, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> I was able to focus my ADHD for just like a schmidgen of time. Yay. <laughs> I feel like such a winner right now. I'm like, look at me. Just one more thing, Sonny. What, girl? Tasha. Please come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I like the way she talks. I'll show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation i'm not gonna say anything this was coming why there yo we got the hip parties happening yo 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 get it get it go go am i a good dancer Day. That day is not today. Them booty bitch. Yo. 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 I'm having so much fun. Yay! It's something I keep hidden there. I want to get yes. even. I feel like I'm like I want. Isn't Eben too dangerous to keep secrets from? Yeah, isn't he? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. That's actually true. Natasha is correct. Women are, in fact, naked without their secrets. Hmm. <laughs> ah! You found you've unlocked the gay. <laughs> Heather, you have unlocked the gay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I knew you would understand. That one will become regular when I have enough subs for it, but for now it's just for pride. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Okay, girl. Look, Natasha, you know... Please. This is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, I did so much. Okay, so clues. Natasha is afraid and her fear is genuine, but she isn't telling me everything regardless that I don't like it. 
Natasha has invited me to her weekend house to show me something. In other words, <laughs> in other situation, I would be glad about it. But uh, in this case, I'm worried. And the threat, or rather the threatening word in the message is sent to Natasha is simply... <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub, Danae. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The threat, or rather the threatening word in the message sent to Natasha is simply hua. It's brief, but says a lot regardless. Yay! Listen. It seems Filmar also used to work for Natasha, but he got out of the case before the ground got too hot. Anyway, he kept a piece of evidence, as any good PI would do, which could be very useful to us. Yes! Y'all, this is a good day. We're having such a good day. Thank y'all. Here are the gift subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for utilizing all the thangy thangs. Well, weren't you supposed <laughs> to be waiting in the car? <laughs> I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. Hi, Thorn. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's chicken police, Thorn. <laughs> welcome, welcome into chicken police. One of the greatest games ever created. <laughs> so, have you talked to Natasha? <laughs> In fact, yes, she was uh, kind of mysterious. It's a, it's a, it's a film noir with, um, with chickens as the police. <laughs> I bet she was. You, you, know, you miss the cat I've never serenade? A case before, uh, not the cat anyway. who owns this club, that but her boyfriend woman. is a mobster. And her boyfriend is a rat. You're uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this. And examine it closely. All right. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. <gasps> wow, that sounds encouraging. What's Take he got? Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. <laughs> oh my God, I've never seen that before, oh, Thor. <laughs> makes my feathers stand. But now I'm end. interested. <laughs> ah, old croakers, you're safe while I'm here. Didn't we? Are those like bookie numbers? We stepped into it, didn't we? Ah. Of all that's furry, what kind of a list yeah, is what this? What kind of list is this? I think I would find it funny. Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. You're a fucking falcon, dude. Those names. Why am I talking Talk to a falcon and, and what I think is falcon language? Together. Please look away. <laughs> sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. <gasps> what? I should have known she was keeping secrets. She said a woman is nothing without her secrets. Keeping of course secrets. she is. She's the secret herself. She's the secret? Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. Oh my 
god. Okay. What do we got here? We got more clues. I only recognize a few names on the list Filmar shoved into my hand, but all of them belong to the respected elite of Clawville. Could be a wedding rasser, but I doubt that's the case. I put a T on case because I've had two trulies. You know how that gets me fucked up. Two trulies. I'm like, wee! The list with all those imposing names must have something to do with Natasha and thus with the threats. <laughs> Ah, places. We have the weekend house now. Natasha Katsenko's weekend house. It stands in the cleanest and most separated quarter of the city in Flowerville. I'm curious about what she's hiding there. Oh my god. Listen. It's so funny. Whenever I do take a break from like a shoot 'em up, this is what I'm into. <laughs> I'm into like a full on story driven game. Yes. Okay. I can't even go into the weekend house yet. I gotta ask him some questions. The truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard, but he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. His charisma? Actually, he's Maybe not Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. You are also not wrong. Who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Wild love. Hmm, you've got a point. We stepped into it, didn't we? That's an understatement. All of these names... The highest in the city. Belong to the upper crust. Yeah, I noticed. It's only some sex cult, if you're lucky. I hope it's a sex cult. Hmm. Don't even go there, Marty. Yeah, Marty, don't go there. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna finish questioning Wonderful this bird, girl. then we're gonna look at one other thing, Either and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill her, I'm get ready because like I have her. to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat something. That's funny, I swear I've heard that before. I'm eating like very slowly today, and uh, to like loads honest, of food, but too. very slowly because uh, my stomach has not been friendly. So, Natasha invited us to her weekend. It wasn't house. us, it was you. That's either very good news or very bad news. Sir. 50%. That's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Rude. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, rude. <clears throat> Who is this woman anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on her anyway. More women, more trouble. That is sexist. You already fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women <laughs> make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway, Pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. All right. Take care of yourself, old bird. <laughs> You're one to talk. We're all old birds, actually. All right. <sighs> so, I guess I do have to attempt. I'm going to go to her weekend house, I think. I'm just seeing something. Oh, I guess I can't go. Uh, I don't know, Sonny. What exactly are Let's I don't know. Let's learn something about Natasha and Ibn by sniffing. Learn something from Phyllis and Roy's. Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah. Uh, I'm Fingers. glad I went here. Philip? Of course I remember. He's got quite the reputation with that Filmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? Listen, the scenario just yeah, got hot. I'm sorry. I know he's investigating petty blackmail cases. 
and sneaking after poor bastards. Yeah, maybe it's the eyebrows. Lives. Anything else? Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about no. that. <laughs> I've seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run it? Possible, Bosco. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. And I'm like, it's 6 a.m. And I'm like, I'm getting sleepy. I almost slept all day, but I've been Wise not decision. well for a few days. So that actually makes sense. It's okay. Listen, Bosco, what do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve, even, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, of the three creatures here. One for Marty, two for Sonny, three for Bosco. Whichever one you think is the hottest, pop in your number in the chat. One for Marty, two for Sonny, and three for Bosco. Bosco's the dog. <laughs> there, it's actually completely in order. You probably can't see Marty, but you've seen you him before. Me? <laughs> because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. First of all, stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. Which is what exactly? Mm, we're still not going to tell you. And finally, Natasha. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wesley? You Western? call her bimbo? They say she's the jackpot, but I've never been into cats, you know. Oh my goddess, please. I've never been into cats. He's a dog. You couldn't be more He's racist just if you tried, Bosco. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm Bosco is the hottest. Thing. Thank you, Heather. I can't stand Agreed. being around them. Good for you. I should have used that excuse myself. Yeah, he used Why? Bimbo. Is your investigation related to her? What? No, of course not. We, we just came from her show. That's why I asked. <laughs> And what's she like? Like a cat? Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life. Weird or whatever, but it seems weird because... Listen, Mon, a reliable old friend I, I, shoved this into my hand. Could you take a quick glance at it? How am I already ready for bed? I slept literally all day. That doesn't even make sense. I've been awake for like four hours if all day today. Hmm, quite an imposing list. What could those numbers mean? It I could love the hummingbird. even, but no, this is something else. That's what we were thinking too, and we got nowhere. But you see a lot of documents. So is there anything familiar about this? Unfortunately not, boys. The names are imposing indeed, but based on this, it could be almost anything. The richest of the rich get together on all kinds of excuses. Thorn. I knew it. Huh, I knew you were part of the winning cult. team. <laughs> It could be, of course, but also anything else. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. Ah, don't mention it, Mon. Thanks for your time. Or, wait a minute. There is something. What is it? Stop teasing us, Mon. I'm sure you've noticed that all the names in the list are men, right? Yeah, of course we noticed. Uh... Thanks for the observation, yes. Monica. Thanks for the observation. Don't mention it. I'm just a receptionist. You are more than that, ma'am. Guess who we met today in person, Mon? King Hector the Third. He oh, who girl. Murdered, the one who commands the king. Wait a minute. Hobart Wessler? Damn right. Hobart Ibn Wessler in the flesh. Ibn. Wow, and you're still alive. That's quite an accomplishment. Thank you, hummingbird lady. But seriously, 
Have you heard that he wants to get out of the black market business? Allegedly, he's trying to clear his name with some kind of new meat substitute. Thor, and they have a meat substitute in this game because they're animals. You can see how that would make some sense. <laughs> difficult to clear. It's a heroic and impossible venture. I haven't heard about it, but it's an interesting addition to what I know. And what is it that you Which know? Is? Eben's been acting very strange lately, and he left most of his business dealings to one of his goons, Mickey, also known as the Butcher, the Mongrel, and the Slayer. The Slayer? Like Buffy? Yeah, we once had the pleasure of meeting him. That's all I know, boys. I know it's not very much, but it's something, I guess. I'll keep my ears open. You don't actually really have ears. But Thanks, okay. man. <laughs> We saw a pretty good show at the Czar Club tonight. Good for you, I guess. Natasha? Natasha. That's confidential, Dollface. Anyway, I can't help wondering about that woman. Her past is a mystery, and I couldn't draw much out of her in person, either. Women like her always have something to hide, Sonny. I think that's exactly what makes men fall head over heels for them. First of all... <sighs> but also, I'm trying to edit a video, so patrons, channel mysterious. members, and hopefully, if fucking Discord is working, uh, mods will have... I have two videos and it's the same thing, but one oh, yeah? I like the look better name? and All so that one's gonna be on just exclusive. And then the other one I'm more succinct. Marty, shut up. Oh, you mean me, right? All mysterious, full of secrets and grace. I didn't even hear that, Marty. <laughs> Okay, finally Olivia. We have a file on a woman called Olivia Blackwig. She's currently working as Ibn Wessler's. Mountain goat, crow, or caiman? Crow. Crow, around 30 to 35. A very pretty socialite. Oops, made myself dark over here. Maybe we have a catch then. Theodore Blackwig was a rather influential banker until he went bankrupt. He died a few years back, but his daughter could have ended up in the same social circles as Eben. And since they lost their money, she took a job as his assistant. Yeah, that would fit the picture. But it's a big city, Sonny. There are maybe more than one Crow family with a Blackwig name living here. Hmm. Thanks, Mon. I'm glad I could help, boys, as always. If it doesn't take a lot of my time, that is. You are a hummingbird. Nothing takes up a lot of your time. We know, we know. We're not even here anymore. All right. So, this is where I'm going to break for this. Um, I'm trying to see if I can show you the thing that I want to show you. Because I... I'm very excited about it, but I don't know if it's going to work today. Because again, we've been having a fuck ton of storms in Texas. So I don't think I'm going to be able to show this to you today. But we should be able to check it out in some other time. Hold on. Let me try it again. This way. I'm going to try it. No más tiempo. You better no work out. We're fine. We're fine. I'm like, it'll be fine. I'm literally just seeing if I can make one thing happen for me. Um, <laughs> I probably, if I had it at first, it would have worked, but. Maybe not. Anyways, there's an Expendables 4. So that means you're all gonna have to be subjected to watching Expendable 1, Expendables 2, Expendables 3, so that when Expendables 4 comes out, <laughs> We can enjoy it as a group, as as a crew, <laughs> okay? Um, <laughs> because that is what I want out of life, all right? Um, 
let us see if there's anybody hold on I've, I've lost things oh we're back into the muse acts but uh, expendables 4 is coming i'm excited about this it's gonna have some other folks and i can't wait listen because i'm a small it, i'm a small child about a lot of things anyway i'm gonna have to pop off of here because of who i am as a person one, I really do have to eat some foods. Um, I got to keep attempting to eat food anyway, is the situation. Um, we can... Oh, my God. We're going to go hang out with Lola. And I appreciate y'all for chilling. I will be streaming s s for sure this weekend. Um once maybe twice because i have a three-day weekend coming up i appreciate y'all for hanging out danae thank you for gifting a sub awesome community welcome to the community christy uh heather undateable black girl thank you so much for all of the uh sound all the all the redeems there we go for utilizing your spells i appreciate y'all have a wonderful day and make sure that you can use, if you have my, my emotes, you can use, um, the first one, no, the second one. If you don't have them, you use the first one. So that's how this all works. And I think I did it wrong. You know what? I just can't do things. <laughs> I'm just like putting things in here. Just, it, it, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm a human being. I'm like I am a human being. Okay, here we go. Yas. <laughs> I will see y'all when I see y'all in the next one. <laughs>